Hey, good morning. I hope and pray you are doing well. I do apologize how dark it is. I sometimes make these videos before I head off to work. And so I just wanted to first uh, just welcome anybody who is watching this video. And I pray that your heart is completely sealed in for Jesus Christ, that you're waiting upon him that you are seeking Him daily, that you have a true and honest relationship with Him, that you live a life of repentance and sanctification. It is so important that we operate with wisdom in these last days, with humility, with serving those around us, and also warning about the impending destruction that will come upon the earth, but also about the grace and the love and the mercy of Jesus Christ and His soon return to remove those who are honestly in love with him and honestly seeking him. I wanted to make a quick video because, uh, you know, we live in exciting times and we, uh, as Christ followers, we got some, some more good news. Now, uh, from the world standpoint, it's not good news. It's actually very tragic news. But as a Christ follower, each and every sign that happens is just reassurance of his soon return to remove those who are seeking Him and love Him and have their light shining brightly. And so, uh, I'll just get right into it. So, uh, the leadership of our nation, they came forward and said that uh, all federal employees within the next 75 days must receive the, uh, the venom of the serpent or else they may risk losing their uh, employment, losing their job. And, you know, these are, these are very trying times which we are in. And so, I ask and pray that you ground yourself not only in the Word of God, but also in full faith and reassurance of Jesus Christ. And it is so important that we do not take the, uh, ser uh, the venom of the serpent. Do not take the venom of the serpent. It is so crucial that we stand strong in these last days because people are going to potentially give in. There's, uh, shoot, I think there's a couple million federal employees and you add up the military and all the federal workers. You know, there is hope. Uh, it, it may there may be a big backlash from this, but don't put your faith in that. Put your faith fully in Jesus Christ. And just as a side note, it's not easy to replace federal employees. So if you're a federal employee and you're worried about this, I pray you don't worry. Because our time here on this earth is very short. Matter of fact, Scripture goes on to say, is, Hey, look, what does it benefit a man to inherit or to gain the whole world but to lose his soul? And so the things, the, the money you make, you know, that's just stuff. I know you have a family to support. You, have a, you probably have bills to pay. But maybe this is a time in which we must reflect on what is important in our life. Is all the stuff we have important? Are the things that we have more crucial to us in, than a relationship with our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ? Or is it better to start to separate ourselves from this world, purge out the, the stuff, the junk, all the things of this world, and to keep our heart and our affections on Jesus Christ? It is so crucial that we operate in these last days in wisdom. You know, a couple of things I wanted to reiterate um, if you actually even go on to the DARPA website, that they've been working on something for a long time that is actually within, it's within the venom of the serpent. Uh, this is just as a side note. This is just to keep you strong and to understand that our life is not our own, but it is in order that we follow worship and that we have a commission for Jesus Christ, that we operate within the confines of His heavenly kingdom, that we, that we know that our, that our place is, is in heaven. It's not here on this earth. So begin to operate in such a manner. Operate in such a manner that we do not worry about this world anymore. Uh, if you go on to the, the DARPA uh, website, they've been working on something for quite a while, and this was actually under the guise of uh, combating religious fanaticism uh, in uh, you know for them it was 
to combat it in the Middle East. But it's actually uh, this substance, I'll just say that, is within the uh, venom of the serpent. And it's actually to destroy or to do away with, and if you could, you could look it up, it's the uh, VMA2. VMA2. T2, actually. And it's a vascular... Hold on a second. I'll, I'll read it to you. A vascular monom, monomine transporter 2. It's also known as the SLC18 alpha 2. And that is actually known as the God gene. No kidding. And what they are... What is within the venom of the serpent... There's actually uh, some stuff in there that, if I say it, it may flag this video, but it actually it actually destroys that, of all things. Isn't that amazing? It's, it's amazing how far science has come that they can target certain things, that they actually want to go in and change your DNA. So if you don't know about what's going on, about the the venom of the serpent that they're giving to everybody. The idea is to change your DNA. No kidding. So please, it is so crucial that you do not take this. This is the mark. This is how they're doing it. And if you choose to do this willingly, I'm telling you, the Lord is not going to be happy about this. Do not allow your light to go out. Are you allowing the light of Jesus Christ in your life to go out and replace it with the, the light of Lucifer because you see that the name of our enemy is within the venom of the serpent itself. There's, a, there's other things. It's a cocktail of toxins and poisons that are there to weed out the weak but also to change the DNA of those who survive it and... Have them go headlong into the tribulation because you see, I believe and convince that they need they need bodies to go into the great battle at the end, but that's a whole other side discussion. I'm here to encourage you. As we see these this day and hour approaching, we know that the timeline in which we live in is the time of the end. We are living in the end of times. Is your faith fully for Jesus Christ? Do these things like the mandates to take the venom of the serpent, the, t the tyranny that's going on, the complete disregard for our constitution that was drafted and instituted on Judeo-Christian beliefs for this country? Are you just going to lay... Are you going to be a victim? Are you going to be a victim in all this and, and accept something into your body out of fear? Do not fear. Do not fear what man can do to you, but fear the one that holds your eternity in his hand. You know, as we see this mandate rolling out, we know that that timeline I spoke about is, is very short. Rosh Hashanah, the, the Feast of Trumpets, the true Feast of Trumpets is October. Uh, it kind of ends the later part of the, the 6th, but 7th, 8th, ninth time frame. And that is a feast that the Lord Jesus Christ is to actually fulfill. And it's coming upon us within this next month. Over these next few weeks, over the until the Lord returns, I ask and pray that you completely and fully surrender and commit your life to Jesus Christ. <clears throat> Excuse me. It is so important. that when things like this come up and they start threatening your jobs, because you see, at first, it was out of fear. And you can see the progression here. It doesn't take a wise man to figure this out. But you see, they first started off with fear. And then they went right into bribery. 
And now it's going to scare tactics and forced acceptance of the venom of the serpent. Because you see, there's other things within the venom. I wish I could share more with you, but I challenge you and encourage you to do your research about everything. About the thing you're waiting for to track you is already within the venom. I don't know why you're waiting. I don't know what you're waiting for if you're waiting for the Antichrist. I pray you and ask that you do not wait for the Antichrist, but you wait for Jesus Christ. And you keep your light shining brightly as a wise virgin. Do not be a foolish virgin and allow your light to go out. Do not allow the light and the love and the mercy and the grace of Jesus Christ to burn out and dwindle and fizzle out in your life and then accept the light of our enemy, the light of Lucifer. Because you see, again, like I mentioned before, the name and the substance within the venom of the serpent is with is the name of our enemy. And by receiving the mark, it's, it's of his name or of the number of his name. And we all know that the number of his name is all over the venom in which I speak of. So please have eyes to see, have ears to hear, look around what's going on. Soon they will mandate it for everybody. I have been anticipating this, but everybody who works for the government, anybody who receives any type of government Assistance, I'm sure, is next. So people on welfare, those who receive Social Security. I also heard they're preparing to go after pensions. So don't be blinded into believing that this is not the mark, because this is a mark. And you look throughout the world, these mandates, I apologize, are already going out throughout the world. Other countries are in full acceptance of this, and we must have eyes to see again, like I mentioned before. Do not take the mark. Do not take the venom of the serpent within you. And if you have, if you were deceived because of fear, you did not trust in the Lord, I personally would go before the Lord in full repentance and beg for mercy. Repent for what you've done and not trusting in Jesus Christ, but trusting in man, trusting in in the enemy. Because that's when you trust in man, that's actually who you are trusting in. Because you see, there's only two kingdoms. There's the kingdom of light of Jesus Christ and Abba Father in heaven through the power of the Holy Spirit. And also there is the kingdom of darkness. There is no middle ground. There is no middle road. Jesus Christ himself says, if you are lukewarm or if you were in the middle, if you're straddling the fence, I will spit you from my mouth. So... This is a word of encouragement as we see these things happening. As we see that day and hour approaching, each and everything that comes up, this is for us to rejoice in knowing that our Savior, our Lord, is almost here. And if we, if we are persecuted, if we go through trials, if we go through types of tribulation, rejoice and accept it. I know it's scary times, but have faith in Jesus Christ and knowing that this That this world is not our home, but our home is with our Father in heaven, with, with Jesus Christ the Lord. Put your faith there. Is this a time to begin to separate ourselves from potentially losing our jobs so that we will not hold on to this world's goods and 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 services anymore, but focus on Jesus Christ and his kingdom? I ask you, please ponder these things. Do not take the venom of the serpent. And again, if you have, please stop making excuses for taking it. Fully surrender to Jesus Christ. Repent. Beg for mercy. Go before the Lord. Go before the Lord Why the restrainer is still here. Do not wait till after the restrainer is gone to go before the Lord in repentance. Repent now. Completely surrender your life to Him now. Have a blessed day, guys. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Bye-bye.